We are happy to see the development that is going on now, you know. As far as the wake up seen governor is here, it, it shows that work is going to take action. And I believe very soon it will be a better thing for everybody, you understand? So we are happy that the wake and see governor is here to see what is going on here. It shows that. My name is Madrid. You, know. you reside here? Yeah, I reside in this environment, this neighborhood. I decide to take portion by portion, I work in, inside by hand to reduce the level of the bus border without to affect the traffic, without to stop anything. This is what is the latest mode, because the mode we have already moved almost 1.1 kilometer okay. of the mode. Okay. Now it remains for me from uh, yeah, TV Slow down, let us so that we can be fast. Okay. Now it's with
Danger, very strong danger here. Children are falling here, school children, school are just resumed. I greet you, sir. No, 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 look at what, don't yeah. take me. <laughs> look at this. How could water go at that level? Couldn't take anything. If you do this one without completed, TV road is already dry. Any rainfall, they don't get flooded again. Even if this one is not complete, that means when it's completed, there is no problem of water in this area anymore. You know, the rainstorm, the so-called rainstorm wasn't designed to work. And then be the 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 what's it called the variation. By almost twenty percent. Be careful. God bless you for doing this road for us. Thank you very very much. Thank you. If it's a sign, you go and rain again for past present. Oh, thank you. My daddy of us a king. I say thank you. Three days here. There be two before. What's it going to happen? Give yourselves that the so called storm water was just a fraud. It was contract to defraud the old people uh, because from what I can see now the design of the storm water in this catchment was not meant to take water away so the area was never drained because you can see the levels from between what we are doing now and what was done by the previous administration um, it's almost a two meter difference. So there's no way you can drain water from a lowland up into a high, a higher ground. And we said we had experts and we paid over 30 billion Naira for this project. And the person who supervised this project today calls himself a minister, supervising bigger projects for the federal government. This is just unacceptable. I mean, we spent almost 30 billion naira claiming that we want to take away the people's sufferings, that we wanted to defraud areas and restore value to their properties. Look at what has happened after five years. So with what we have done now, with much less amounts, we are going to finally drain this area and bring back life to the people in this catchment. set up 
you know, the, the, a panel. I, just, I don't like probing, but we must get to the facts of what happened. We can't throw away such large amounts of money. People must be made to account for their time of service in government. They have to explain to us how they spent the 30 billion for drainage that is draining water, no, that is not draining water anywhere. And they had the audacity, they had the boldness to claim that we abandoned a project that was not meant to work in the first place, for which they have collected money. Clearly, we will take all the necessary precautions to make sure that we recover all the monies due to Edo people that were stolen from this project. We didn't realize that we put them drain, and that's how we found it out. So we spent less than three billion doing all of this, whereas the city spent less than billion doing whatever. Stop, stop, stop! And along the road, you see the drainage. I make catch pit, and I connect the drainage with the underground. Yes, to dry all the all the area to dry. From kilometer 6.3 to kilometer 4, problem of water is coming. So where are we getting to? This road is ending at the No, no, it was it was uh, designed for one for single carriageway. Um, I'm sure the permanent secretary will tell you the technical details such as the length of the roads. Uh, <clears throat> but for me, I decided that um, I should come and see the progress of work um, by the contractors. We are anxious to take advantage of the dry season to make sure that a lot of progress is made on these constructions. You know, the rains, the rainy season here now, because of climate change, um, is quite extended and a bit erratic. So we are very anxious that now that we have this dry spell, we should get the contractors to move much faster on the pace of work. <laughs> they have assured me, Will. Like what used to happen in the past, which was like a whitewash. You see the quality of the drainage that is being constructed. And because we are in the rainforest, if you don't drain the land properly, then the roads will not last. So it is important that you, you know, scientifically undertake a proper draining of the environment, the land, before you now constructs and cover the surface of the roads. One of the challenges of the past 
which is like, you know, trying to do what you call a whitewash design. You want the make believe, you want to show that you build the road, whereas the road will not last uh, beyond a couple of seasons. Sorry. Uh, the Taiwan Road Project is um, the dualization of an 8.3 kilometer stretch of the road and uh, a single carriage way from the 8.3 kilometer uh, end of change to the barracks. But I think His Excellency has just directed us on the need to modify the single carriage way aspect of this road to a dual carriage way. The entire, the entire length has a 13 point uh, in 36 months but uh, i think uh, in a meeting with his SLIC about uh, two two weeks back uh, the program of works were reviewed to 24 months but if you remove the rainy times out of it you know it's effective about 18 months project but significantly for this year most of the concrete works uh, will be done and asphalting will also be done if you look at the road so far, it's prepared to receive asphalt. Uh, the first three kilometers is being prepared to receive asphalt. And before the end of April, about three kilometers will be asphalted of this road. You can also see the appreciable work we have done on the underground drain that is going to the water, the Wadiai uh, catchment up to the storm water. I think it's an impressive job and the contractor is doing well. He's an indigenous contractor and he's, he's deploying uh, you know, an impressive capacity here. Thank you. Perhaps you could just speak about the text time you just left. The text time is so uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a project that has come at the, the nip of time in the sense that it entails the deflooding of the Yoba catchment, which has been very notorious uh, for a lot of uh, environmental hazards and uh, you know, uh, 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 children death, about two, uh, three children uh, died around there. We are deflooding that catchment through also the Kena houses. The Kena has never known road or any government presence, but we are also uh, channeling that flood water through the Kena to empty at Egosa, Egosa Manko. And it also involves the expansion of the 2.3 kilometer test timing road, mm -hmm. which is also being prepared now to receive ASA. Luckily, most of the concrete works in test timing road has been done. And uh, the contractor is also very impressive. Uh, the test timing project will be completed between September and October this year. Thank you very much. I feel when they do this. Well, uh, I greet, I greet you now, and I greet our SLC, uh, our governor, Obaseki. I, I they beg and make they complete the work when they start. You know what I saying? Because it already started the good work. Make you finish the work. If you finish the work, everybody go prison. Everybody go return for the good work when they do. I make you see help us. For one thing, because of uh, this back issue, when we're the first band, the back they disturb us too much for this area. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when we pay revenue, we don't get work again. So, make it help for me finish the work. So, God go bless her, God go encourage her. That is your, name. your name, your name. My name is Lucky Eyetuma from Delta State. Okay, you be tricycle operator? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm a tricycle operator. <laughs> Come on, I'll be a way of those masks. Come on, I'll be a way of those masks.